Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue. I'm a nurse who loves playing with makeup and sharing that all with you guys. Today I'm bringing you four looks, one custom palette from Lethal Cosmetics. I'm so excited to share these looks with you, so let's get right into it. Alright, so we're going in with the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. I do this for every look, I only show you this one time. Then we are kicking in with Habitat for this green. And I'm just blending this into my crease, giving it a good old blendy blend blend. It is a bit more muted than I probably thought it was going to come out, but it's building up quite nicely. It's not very patchy. It's It looks good. I like it. And then we're going to be pulling into Void and... Look, I don't know, I just think I was just trying to build up and give it some depth. It kind of works. Then Transmutation, and this is the black. I did have a little bit of trouble with the black. As you can see, it's just a little bit patchy. But you are able to sort of build up on it and blend it out. So it does work. Blacks are just tricky little things. Then going into the shade Ariel. This is that shimmery blue. I just love this. I didn't use any Fix Plus. I didn't use my finger. I just used the brush. It is magic. I don't know. Just look at that shade. Then pulling into Helios. This is that yellow and I'm just packing this on me in a corner. I love to put a bright in a corner moment going on. And then Habitat. This is that nice dark green again. Just bring that underneath my eye for a bit of, I don't know depth interest or intrigue then just having a look at the look where it is at the moment and pondering my eyeliner choices we've gone into the ColourPop dirty talk this is a nice dirty shimmery gold i kind of really love the effect of a shimmer in the waterline then i've pulled off camera and put astrala snap liner the nyx epic liner benefit bad girl bang on and here is the final look I really like how this came together and I like the blue with that habitat, that green going on. Hello, I'm back again with look number two. We're going to Remedy. This is a beautiful blue in this palette and if you know me, you know I love my blues. It is once again a bit more muted but you are able to build up on it and make it more bang for your buck. Then we're going into Petrichor. I'm not really sure how to say that word. But this was beautiful. I think where they really excel is their dark, colourful mattes. They are just beautiful to work with. And just look at that shade. I don't think I have any shades like this in my collection. I just really enjoy it. So I'm just packing that out on the outer corner and depth deepening up the crease. Going in with a petrichor, I'm trying to fix that bit on the inner corner. It always gets patchy. Then Habitat, this is that dirty green. We're going underneath the eye again. Just, you know... I do quite enjoy it, Habitat. And we are pulling out the big guns. We've got the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair 00 and we are doing a cut crease today. I'm using the shade Relapse. This is probably the shade that made me buy the palette and that's why I really wanted to do a look that was really centered around it. I wanted to see how much bang it really had. Then we're going into Enigma and this is a beautiful duochrome purple. And I love it. I'm just chucking out my inner corner, checking out how we're going. Hmm. I decided I need a little bit of glitter, so I've pulled out my Urban Decay Heavy Metal in Disco Daydream. I just bought this the other day, so it was nice to be able to play with it. Though I gotta admit, my eyes did sting a little bit. This is a really nice hollow glitter, and it went on really easily and was really easy to use. I'm interested to use it a bit more and see if I do have that stinging. I'm just drying it off on my giant eye stand. And then we're going in with Color Pops Crybaby and putting that on my inner corner. Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Quick, quick, quick. And here we go. Here is the final look. Don't get too excited because we still have two more looks to go after this one. And here is it with the glitter up close. Let me know what you think of this one. Look, I was just really feeling my oats in this look and with that lip color. So, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, we're going into look number three now. So this is the look that's inspired by the Instagram and Nicole Tate. She's just started her, her YouTube account. So you should definitely check out it. She's got her first video up. And this is going to be black, black, black until we do a cut crease. But this is where you can really see transmutation and those issues that I was having with it. It does pack on really nicely and you can see that underneath my eye. And then I'm packing, packing into the inner corner and then blending and out. It is nice and it does build up though. So we're just blending, blending, blendy blend. 
I'm trying to build up this nice black. This is probably the first time I've done a black look like this. We got some fallout. We're fixing that. We got some fallout in the palette. But look, it was pretty easy to get rid of. I blew on it once. I oh, know, so naughty. And off it went. So now we're going into the cut crease portion of this event and <laughs> laying down the ColourPop concealer. I'm just trying to make it a really nice white opaque base. I'm wondering if there's a better white concealer to use for this. Uh, let me know if you've got any more recommendations out there. And this is the part where you can see where the inspo from Nicole Tate comes from if you've ever been on her Instagram. But we're going in with Helios, which is that yellow, and I'm just putting that on my inner corner and a little bit into the middle. Then going into the shade Cycle, which is this orange, I'm packing this on next to that. Just pack, 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 <laughs> building it up. It is a nice shade. I do like the orange. I don't think I have enough oranges in my collection. I feel like I need more. And going into Release, which is that purple, putting that next to it. And I'm just really going for a gradient effect with this. And the next shade is going to be Cascade, which is this beautiful shade. It is like a plummy. Oh, I don't know. I can look on their website. They do say what they are or like. But this one packed up really nicely and I was able to sort of blend it in and look at that. So we're going back into release. I just wasn't really happy with where it was at and we're just packing some more on top of that. And then I think more fallout. Fix, fix, fix. I ended up having to go in with concealer to fix this and I thought I just might as well show you guys. I know you guys like to see it when I mess up sometimes and what I do to fix it. <laughs> this definitely brightened my under eyes. Anyway, I'm still on the kick of matching my inner corner to my eyeliner. So we're going in with the ColourPop Cross Liner. This is the first time I've used it. And I've got to tell you, damn, this was some creamy stuff. And here we go. Here is the final look. I believe it's the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Let me know what you think of this one. I'd love to know. And moving into our fourth and final look of the night. I'm just doing a real quick kind of look with this. So we're going in with release which is that purple and this is where the shades really work best when you pack them on and then blend them out if you really want to get that big pigment payoff but they are just so easy to work with then we're moving into cascade which is that beautiful plummy shade that we've just used in the previous look and this is where you get to see it sort of blend out and this is where i think they're dark colorful matte just really nice to work with and they've really got a nice amount of pigment and they blend out so well I think all their colourful mattes are quite nice, but I think there's just something in having a very pigmented shadow that makes me, in general, happy. So I've gone back into it with a tiny brush, and I'm just trying to get some real nice detail-ish kind of work underneath my eye and then into that outer corner. I really want to pack up, pack that shadow in, build it up, and then I'm going to go in with a bigger brush and blend it out in a minute. It's coming up. Here we are. Back to that brush and blending, blending, and I'm just bringing it up a little bit into the crease. Then going to cycle, which is that orange. I just really wanted to showcase the shade a bit more by putting it on my inner corner. I really love the bang of that orange. And now we're going to Enigma, which is the shimmer purple that I have. And we're putting this all over my lid. I got a bit tired. And at this point, I've just used my finger. And you can see it just does such a beautiful job with the finger. It's so easy to get on. I love this shade. Then we're going into ColourPop liner in Puppy. And this is orange. Once again, matching that inner corner. And I'm deciding to mix up mascara. So we're going to Lancôme Hypnose Doll Eyes and bang yeah done this is the final look let me know what you think of it i'd love to know all right so there we have it my four looks one custom palette i hope you enjoyed the looks i ended up doing four because i needed to film this and i found the black was just real heavy but i did enjoy doing that look let me know what you thought let me know what was your favorite i'd love to know all right so we are looking at lethal cosmetics they are a brand based in germany they are cruelty free vegan amazingness so each shadow is 1.8 grams they're five dollars four cents euros and that works out to five dollars 67 us or eight dollars 26 aud for the singles if you buy them in a custom palette you get 30 percent off and i'll have that information listed below of what it works out to then ColourPop, in comparison, their eyeshadows have 1.5 grams in them, so 3.3 grams less, and uh, $6 US, so about the same price. Inglot, which is who these shadows sort of made me think of initially, and that's because of the square pants, have 2.7 grams, so just about one gram more of shadows, and they go for 12 Australian dollars, or 8 US dollars, or $7.12 euros each. So at affordability, 
these are amazing. You do get free shipping at 65 euros internationally, which is about $105 Australian. I paid for shipping, which meant it was $10 Australian about that. I am okay with paying anything less than I think 23 US dollars is where my cap of what I want to pay for shipping is at. And this sort of has to be a good deal or a good reason to buy it for me to pay for 23 dollars US. So I'm super happy with the shipping and they came really quickly. They came beautifully packaged. In my recent haul that I did, I show you how the eyeshadows work and how they were packaged and it was amazing. I love them. And this is how I decided to lay it out. Let me know if you have a better idea of how I should lay them out. Should I have them in color coding? I kind of like them spread out. I don't know. So when we're talking about blendability or pigment of these shades, as you saw, a lot of the times they did occasionally kind of blend away a little bit but you were able to build up on it and build that pigment and so that i think this is the perfect color of shadows that you could introduce someone to color eyeshadows with they're affordable and so easy to use you can go as hard as you want so you can when you're blending you can blend it away so it's a lot more subtle but you can also bring it out without packing it on and building it up. And doing that does beautiful. Some shadows, when you do that, it just disappears or it becomes so muddy. These do not do that. These are amazing. These are shadows that I would get someone who is starting out in color makeup onto. And even if you are an expert at color makeup, shit man, these are good. You should get them. They are some very unique colored mattes that I just don't think you can get anywhere. I will say, and I saw Amy Loves Makeup say this in her review, that when I got them, some of them weren't as vibrant as they were when I saw them on the screen, but they made up for that. Per se, I think it's Void. It's probably the best one. And that's, yeah, it looks how it looks to me. I'll put up a picture of what it looks like online and you can see the comparison. But that's fine. They are still beautiful and there's a lot of reviews out there now. So you can go check out and see what everyone's saying about them. For my, per se, my standout shades, Void still is one of them. It's so unique. I just, I really like this sort of green yellow going on this blue here is beautiful this is a blue shimmer oh, and the shimmers are amazing mm. they are very opaque and they pack on beautifully they do as most shimmers do work better with your finger this purple blended so pretty it was really nice the black did get patchy but it was i was able to fix it so it was fine this purple shimmer is also another one of my favorites i'm sorry i don't know the names of them all at the moment they are just beautiful. I did try and use all of the shades well in the look so that you could get a good idea of them and how they worked and also that I would get a good idea of how they worked. And I am so impressed and so happy with these. Is this maybe one of my new favorite brands? I feel like I'm going to be buying a lot more from Lethal Cosmetics in the future. So let me know, have you bought from Lethal yet? What shades did you love, not love? What did you think of the looks? Which shade did you think maybe was it not to power from the looks that you saw I did? Are you interested in this brand? Are you gonna buy stuff soon? Because I think you should. I'd love to know what you all think. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I absolutely appreciate and adore you.